And we're right here with Steve, and Steve has got a 23 Model T. Steve, tell us all about it. So it's a 1923 Ford Model T Speedster with a 1928 Chevrolet head. The idea is it's the late 30s, early 40s hot rod, and the way to make the Ford go faster is put Chevrolet parts in. Yes, you know, if you're out here and you're within earshot of us, if you don't I, I, I think that caught on. <laughs> I think that caught on as the years went by. Yeah, if you, if you don't get up here to see this with this open valve train, you know, today is the Indianapolis 500, and as we speak, uh, DJ Paul Peters, the Indy 500 is on right now. And I would say some version of this car ran in the Indy 500. Yes, uh, an early, early Miller-based uh, race car with four blocks as a, as a, a means for building up and going fast. So that was, uh, again, four blocks. You had them everywhere. It was like the small block Chevy of the 30s. And so many speed parts available that uh, people did a lot of engineering work to actually get the four so fast. So why the Chevy head? Uh, the Chevy head is because uh, it's, uh, to be honest, it's a cheap man's way of putting the speed on for it because there were period correct overhead valve conversions available for Ford Model Ds. Uh, they're very expensive. A cheap way of doing it, and if you have access to a machine shop, is making an adapter plate to put your Chevrolet head on the Ford block. How, how can that valve train be open and the oil's not going all over the place? So early Chevrolet heads never had uh, oil feeds to the rocker arms. It's a true lost oil system. You would just go in and put oil into your rocker arms and around the valves every couple hundred miles or so to provide lubrication, but they were never designed to actually have oil feed to wow. the head. So wow. If you look at it, you'll actually see pockets around the valve where the oil actually collects. As you're driving, that oil will slosh around and allow for lubrication. Well, the Holman family of Indianapolis 500 fame would be proud that an automobile would be like this today. And of course, we see, look at here, the uh, license frame says Engineers Rolls Holman. And we know that Holman name, if you'll remember, 103 year old. Holman dropped the flag and announced, ladies and gentlemen, start your engine. A couple of years ago, of course, she's passed away. DJ Rock and Paul Peters, that's take right. it home. And thank you for describing that license plate, John, because that's a, probably a collector plate where it says, what What does it say on there around that plate? Roll Holman. Right, and, and there's another one I can remember. It said, John Rogan, you Ah, uh, here we go. <laughs> Johnny Rock and Johnny. Radio Santa Monica, 